Hey guys, what's up? It's day three of the Columbus Major 2016, and I'm actually going to be doing both the team pickums and the fantasy team, um, both at the same time in the same video. Um, so let's get right into it. Our predictions for day two didn't look so hot. I thought that Envious was going to be Gambit. I really didn't think that they'd let a team like Gambit come back and, and just demolish them. So unfortunately that happened. And also I went with Cloud9 because of how bad G2 did against VP. That turned out to be wrong. And I was super happy about Team Liquid actually being Fnatic. Um, there's, that's actually, I didn't put money on that game for that reason because I thought it was actually very possible that Team Liquid could upset Fnatic, especially with some of the players that they have on there, like Adren, who's sick, amazing, and Hiko, and all those players. So I thought it was fairly, it, it, it could have happened. So I didn't put any money on it, and I'm glad I didn't. And I am happy that Team Liquid won, even though it did hurt my team pickums. And then obviously the Navi versus Virtus Pro. I never pick Navi because I hate Navi stickers. I don't like Navi. So yeah, that one technically I predicted, but I'm just throwing more points at this moment. So today's day three, and these are going to be the hardest ones in the rest of the tournament because you have teams that have won one, lost one, and now they're battling it out in a best of three of all things to see who is going to play in the quarterfinals. So for the first one, it's Ninjas in Pajamas versus Mouse Ports, which Ninjas in Pajamas went into overtime with Flipside. Flipside went into five overtimes with Mouse Ports. So, I mean, technically Ninjas in Pajamas are the better team, apparently, because they took them to one more, or they took them to one overtime instead of five, but I don't think that says a lot. Um, I think that Mouse Ports can be nip and so I'm gonna choose mouse ports um, if if nip had pith in this in this uh, in this game in these best of three I think that they could have beaten mouse ports and I would have chosen them to um, lose against Navi later but I think mouse ports are gonna go ahead and advance um, fanatic versus phase clan um, I on uh, CSGO Lounge, they have a crazy, like, it's like almost 90% to 10% or something like that for FaZe to win. I don't think it's going to be that bad of a shutout. I think that FaZe is definitely going to win one map. I think it's going to go to the best of three, and I think Fnatic are going to win it at the end. So I'm going to choose Fnatic. Um, CLG versus Gambit. I, here's the thing, is that Gambit... It's not that I don't like them. I do. I just don't think that they're... The only reason I think that they beat Envious was not because of teamwork um, that was better than Envious. It was just surely, uh, surely that Envious's players that are supposed to be fragging just couldn't compete. I mean, if you, you have Kenny S and, and they were playing on cash and he was playing solo B and he couldn't even hold... He couldn't kill two people. You should always kill two people if you're, if you're holding solo B with an op, and there's nobody coming in through vents because you have a player playing mid, you should get two kills before you die. I mean, that's just, it, 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 it was just bad, it was horrible. So, I think that CLG is going to be better in that sense. I'm going to go with CLG for this one, and I think that's going to be amazing because if they go forward and they play Team Liquid, that could get really dicey for both teams, even though I see Team Liquid winning that, but they, it could get close, and you might end up seeing CLG in the semifinals. That would be crazy for CLG. Um, VP versus G2. What was is a 16-1 that VP beat G2 on? Um, oh, I forgot what map it was. I, I want to say it was Overpass or Cobble, but it was crazy. I think oh, this one's a hard one to pick, but I think I'm gonna go with VP. I think G2 might go ahead and win this one, but I really want VP to win this, so I'm just gonna choose VP. 
And that's it. So that's it for the team pickums for day three. Now we're going to move on to the fantasy team. Um, yeah, this was all bad. Everything in here was bad. Hiko for the first day was, he, he never even got into a clutch situation because of how well they played. Um, so there was nothing he could really do for my clutch king. Um, so we're going to take him out because it's bye week next week. We got to take out Shroud because they got eliminated. So did MBK and so did Stupid 2K. So basically we're going with a whole new roster. We're going to leave Dennis in because Dennis is playing. And I think, like I said, I think FaZe is going to win at least one map. So I think that Dennis will have six pistol rounds to show something in these pistol rounds for my Eco Warrior. So I'm, I'm banking on that. So we got some new people. I am going with Crims for my commando. He's got, no, not that one. He's got a crazy KD ratio, 132 to 105. That's pretty sick. He always ends up in these safe situations where he just ends up saving an op or something like that for his team, which ends up being perfect for that position on our team as far as points go. Uh, for Clutch King, I'm going to go with Nico. Oh, oh, dang it, I keep doing that. This one comes Clutch King Nico. And I'm going with Nico because obviously Hiko is past this round, so he's not going to help us at all. Um, and Nico, I think they're going to go to three maps with NIP, which means that potentially has a lot of clutch kills, so that will work out for me. Hopefully. Anyways, entry fragger. I am going with Chris J. Chris J. See, I keep doing that. Chris J. His his entry frags. If you look right here. Oh, sorry, not entry fragger. I'm sorry. Um, he's going to be my opera. His op skills are crazy. Even though he did have a lot of open kills. If you look, he had 22. That was a lot. Um, for my entry fragger. I am going with, I believe I wanted to go with Get Right, yes, Get Right, every time, don't I? So we're going to go to Get Right for our entry fragger, he didn't do that well at entry fragging, but unfortunately the people that we do have that are better entry fraggers, I guess, um, we're already using them for other positions, so I think he'll do fine, it, it, it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, we're pretty we're pretty far back. I mean, if you look, we're at 92%, so that's pretty bad. I'm hoping that this new, I, I basically bought all four of these stickers besides Dennis to try and boost my fantasy team just a little bit higher. So hopefully this will be better. And yeah, so I can't wait for today. Um, I'm not putting any money on any of these games because I think all of these games can go either way which is really scary whenever you have money on a game so i'm not betting any money um yeah that's that's about it so yeah anyways um i guess have fun enjoy watching the 2016 major league columbus and peace out bye